Um, I want to preface this video that there may be a lot of cursing and whatever. I don't mean to. I just curse a lot, so and a lot of head movements and hand movements and stuff because that's what I do. So anyway, my chess adventure. Um, so if you follow my Twitter or Facebook, all you know, I went to see chess. Uh, and, uh, before I get into the adventure story and the entire thing, uh, it needs, it needs to come to Broadway. I, I, if that came, that would be the only thing I'm looking forward to on Broadway. Well, maybe the Donna Summer, um, one that's, I think, coming this summer. Uh, maybe that's the only other one. Maybe I'm forgetting one, but that's, it's the one that I want to come to Broadway. But anyway, um... So, all right, so Wednesday night, um, pack up, whatever, but I could not fall asleep. Like, I tried, I actually was like, okay, had everything packed, like, Tuesday, whatever, um, and then Wednesday, I was like, cool, I'm gonna go to bed at 8, and I did go to bed at 8, but I didn't go to sleep, so, <laughs> and I was, like, busy farting around because, like, my friend Jen, um, that night saw the first night of chess and she was like telling me what was going on and she got to like stage door and meeting like Ramin and um I think uh I think Bryce and I think Bradley I might be wrong on one of them um but you know and telling me how the show was and how role was I was like super excited and I can't and I cannot fall asleep uh for worth of shit and um so uh all right so um, I did fall asleep, but I didn't get up at three, so by the time I went to sleep, it was about, like, like, 1.30, um, like, 1.30 a.m., and, uh, so I only got, like, one and a half hours of sleep, and that sucked. So, okay, here's, so I got up at three, so that happened, and I was, like, tired, whatever. So, that Thursday morning sucked to get to D.C., and here's why. Um, so I was like, cool, all right, get myself ready, prepare, tired as fuck, whatever. I call at 4 o'clock in the morning um, one of the 24-7 taxis. And oh my god, I would not wish that experience on anybody. Normally when I go anywhere, I take the train, but this time I was taking the bus because the train was like, expensive um so I call them and I'm like hey can you pick me up at my house this is where I live and I give a thorough um directions and so the guy um I think he it, there was like a little bit of a language barrier so that was fun and so I you know he goes okay um and I'm like well if you have a GPS um, sometimes my road will read as something else. I don't know why they need to fix it, because it has caused issues in the past. But, uh, and he said, okay, um, I'll call you if, uh, when I get near. So he calls me, and the dude is like, um, he's like, oh, can't find, can't find road, dead end. And I'm like, dude, there is no sign that says dead end. When you reach my road, it goes into a gravel road, and it's like, there's like a sign that says, please honk, and I'm like, don't do that, because one, it's like four in the morning, and two, it's the stupidest sign I've ever seen. And so he's like, okay, I'll try again. So he does it, and my God, um, <laughs> he, can't, he hits the dead end, and I'm like, what road? And I'm trying, because I've lived here for like almost four years. And I'm like, and the only road I can think of is maybe if you turn right or something. And then he's like, oh, can't come. Uh, I have to go pick up somebody. I have to refuse this. And I'm like, fuck. So, um, he, uh, so that hangs up. So I had to find another person. So then I called this other ca um, taxi and the guy picks up and he's like, uh, what do you want? Tell him, I was like, need to go to the bus station, pick me up at this house. And the guy was like, oh, uh, he hangs up. 
the dude hangs up. And then when I looked at the phone number, because the other the other guy when he called, I looked at the same number. It was ran by the same guy. So I was fucked. Because right now my brother, he can't drive me. So I'm like, fuck him. I'm freaking out. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck to do. And I'm like, well, maybe. So I, I, you know, I knock on the door. And I wake up my brother. And by the time, it's like, it's like five mo- it's five in the morning. And I have to catch the bus at six. So I'm like, fuck. I'm like freaking the fuck out. Because this is the one thing I was looking forward to was chess. And I need to see Raul actually perform. And I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? He can't drive me. And I don't know if I, there's no really parking spaces. So I wake my brother up and we're trying to figure it out. So he texted the guy and he tried calling the guy and the, and the guy would not pick up, would not pick up. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm like, and I, I'm like, and I'm, and I have a cell phone and where I live, I live in the middle of the woods. So when I text people, the, the cell phone sometimes drops out. So anyway, um, so that was the, uh, it sucked. It sucked. It sucked so much. And, and I'm, I'm just getting upset and I already, no lie, I had like a panic attack over this and I'm like freaking out. I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like crying and like tears and shit are coming down my face and like, and I'm like crying because he has to do something and I'm like trying to figure out what to do. So eventually, you know, I, I calmed down and that, I had the panic panic attack before I woke him up because I was just so afraid. And like, he's sleeping. Like, it's 5 in the morning. He wants to wake up at 5 in the morning for bullshit. So, I'm like, fuck. And I'm... Eventually, my brother figured it out. If I park near the bus station, I just have to walk, like, a seven-minute walk. But I'm like, I don't know what to do. And he's like, if you park there, you should be fine because I saw a car park there for, like, three weeks, whatever, um, with no ticket. Because that was the one thing I was worried about. I mean, it would still be under his name, but it would still suck who wants to get a ticket. Uh, but then, <laughs> so we got that figured out. But then, um, but then I get into the car and I'm just so worried because when I worry, I rush. So, um, I rush. And, um, so I get up the hill and I just put my foot on the fu- like the gas. And I know it's like 35, but I'm going like, more than 35 if you know what I mean and um and then the brakes wouldn't work like I would try like I realized I was going too fast and when I put the brakes on the car would still keep going and I'm like fuck 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 and like um and I'm like what the fuck so um like in the middle of the road good thing it was still the back road so I knew it would be totally empty it's it's like by this time it was like 25 30 and, um, and I'm like, I got, I gotta get there in 15 minutes. And so that's why I'm like driving all fucking crazy, like crazy person. So, um, I, I tried to hit the brakes and then I just turned the key like to the point where, you know, it's like in between where even though it's not on park, it's kind of off, but not off. So I did that. And then I put it into park and then I turned it off and I wait like a second and I'm like, fuck, 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 fuck. And I'm like, please, 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 please. Oh yeah, it was foggy as fuck too, so that was fun. So I turn on, um, I turn it on and the brakes work. And I'm like, I've never had this happen. Like it has other problems, but that was not an issue that's been with the car. So I'm like, uh, so I, I, it works, but it's foggy. Like I can't see. And we have like sharp turns, and they do go into ditches and and, and rivers and shit. And oh my god, and then. I got past the fog, and I finally got on the main road, and, um, and I kind of sped there, too, because I need to make this fucking parking thing so I can kind of, well, run, walk, like, jog, whatever. So I park, and I put on the parking brake, and that was fine. So then I get down to the bus station, and then, uh, <laughs> I, uh I get there, and I'm like, it's totally empty. I'm like, oh, my God, is this the wrong place? But then it came to like 5.50 and um, some lady shows up and I'm like, okay. And I'm like, is this the right place? She goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. But nobody ever shows up until like 5.50, 5.55 because the bus is like 6, 6.05. I'm like, all right, cool. Um, So I get on the bus and then I can feel it. Like sometimes when I enter a vehicle, I know I'm going to get sick in it because I, I, I have like a sensitive stomach when it comes to... Um, vehicle sometimes like I don't know if it's an inner ear issue or something but I could feel it I could feel the car sickness coming on 
and I'm like, oh fuck, this is gonna be an hour and a half drive. Because I had to, I had to go from, I had to go from my home to New York City, then the Port Authority there to Washington D.C. And uh, that was the longest hour and a half I've ever. I don't like taking the bus. I like taking a train, even if the train is longer. And I've done cross country, and it never feels as long as a bus ride. Um, and I don't know what it is, but I can feel my back burning, and I'm like, oh, I know what's coming. And good thing they had a um, bathroom uh, on on the bus because I puked. And it's been like 10 years because I avoid. I try of. I don't like the feeling. I, it's the worst feeling in the world. Um, there's only a couple other things that's the worst feeling in the world, but it's something I don't enjoy. And uh, I puked on this bus from um, um, to New York City five times. And by the fifth time, it was so bad, I, I puked in my hand, and that's gross. And then we, and I swear, it was like, oh yeah, and I had other, and I won't get into detail, I had other bodily issues going on. I had like, fun times going on, and then I had other fun times going on. So I had like, the trifecta of fun uh, on the bus. But then, um, after, and I, and, and you know, I took Dramamine, and I, Drink ginger rail because I knew that when I stress sometimes like I just get a sensitive tummy and I'm like I just don't feel well and whatever and it didn't work I'm like what the fuck and I puked anyway but luckily the bus ride from New York City <laughs> to Washington DC was fine because I just fell asleep but I was still dead ass tired like that Thursday I was just tired and I'm surprised, and it was a good movie, I'm surprised, because that, um, that first night I didn't go to chess, it was, my Friday was the night for chess, but I'm surprised I did not fall asleep during Black Panther, because that was planned, see, uh, Black Panther, and then, um, and then Stage Door, because I knew the weather was kind of, kind of be shitty, um, so I'll probably make a, uh, part two for, uh, my adventures or chess um but that was the first part and it sucked and i was tired and i was telling a couple friends if i'm like acting like kind of wonky or woozy or tired or i'm not looking at anybody i'm like Ugh. it's because i was sick and i was tired and i just had a stressful thing oh and yeah and i still need to give those dudes or that asshole a one star review if i could give them a zero or a negative fucking five i would because I was, I've, I've been on many taxis, and that was the worst service, like, he couldn't even pick up, or whatever, or, I, it could have been an emergency or something, where I didn't have a car at all, and it's like, thanks, you know, I, I could have missed chess, and I would have, like, weeped my eyes out, <laughs> uh, but yeah, he's getting a negative fucking five on, on Yelp, or, and if I can find any other, and better business, and everything else, because that was bullshit, and, that was like the only bad thing about my trip. Um, so I will do part two after this.